A group of Michigan lawmakers are proposing some legislation that would ban drag show performances in Michigan schools. The proposed legislation would also allow parents to sue districts that violate the proposed law. House Bill 6306 was introduced to the legislature about two weeks ago. It's being sponsored by Republican representatives, including Ryan Berman, Stephen Johnson, Luke Meerman, Steve Kara, Bola Fave, Bob Bezot, and Terrence Mikowski, and Michigan gubernatorial candidate Tudor Dixon. The bill seeks to prevent K-12 school districts from hosting, presenting, displaying, or exposing students to a drag show or drag presentations. We need to be focused on educating our kids properly. Instead of spending time on things like sexual perversion and worried about drag queens coming in and exposing our kids to that type of an atmosphere, we need to focus on math, reading, writing, and things that are actually important in a young child's growth and development. One mid-Michigan drag queen performer tells me he likely wouldn't perform for kids in K through 8th grade, but that this bill represents a larger issue. It really isn't a bad thing to have a drag show at schools. It's not because like I said, we have LGBTQ at schools and they already shelter in one of Mina's child because their school is scared to come out and whatever people are gonna say and how the kids are gonna, you know, make them feel. And I ju just think this article is, my point of view is ridiculous. Lansing native Alex Diaz says he understands that some drag shows can be risque at times, but also thinks people should be open to other communities and cultures. So I can say in essence of like taking kids to Hooters when they're young doesn't make them straight. Um, you know, if you're going to do that, then what's wrong with having kids, you know, with drag shows. So um, I can understand the, the apprehension, but I I think that people need to kind of open up a little bit more. And if approved, the bill would also allow parents to sue any school district that allows these kinds of performances for anywhere between $2,500 and $10,000. The bill was introduced to the House on June 30th and is currently before the Committee on Rules and Competitiveness. Your neighborhood reporter, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.